I've had a bunch of questions and a bunch of you guys ask me how to create multiple addresses or how to create multiple accounts if you wanted to do Icosa staking that way. So in this video, I'll quickly show you guys how you can do that on the Ethereum network and I'll show you basically the same sort of thing over on the Pulse Chain testnet as well. So first things first, once you have your MetaMask set up, the if you have a ledger or treasure and you want to import your public keys from uh, that ledger or treasure from that one private key, the only thing you need to do is click on that little circle at the top of your MetaMask or if, you, if you're just using the extension, just click on the little circle. Uh, hit connect hardware wallet. Make sure that you have your hardware wallet connected to your computer and the Ethereum app open on your ledger. For this example, I, I have a ledger. So I'm going to select the ledger. I'll hit continue. Select the ledger that I have paired with the computer. It'll say looking for your ledger and it'll show me all of my accounts, right? So what you could do is let's say you want to have 10 accounts. You could import as many accounts as you'd like and it'll just keep on deriving or getting more public keys however it does it and you can just import as many as you'd like and then once you have enough accounts once you once you feel like you have created enough you just hit unlock and essentially all of these ledger live accounts or all of your hardware wallets public keys will get imported into your metamask and essentially you're using metamask as a front end to interact with all the different dApps so as you can see here i have a regular metamask account one regular metamask account two regular metamask account three and then i have all the ledger accounts down here that i just imported so if i wanted to create an icosa stake uh right now i'm connected to the this website on my account one which is just my regular MetaMask account one, what I would just have to do is go over to my ledger, just connect that wallet, and then boom, I could create my Icosa stake however much Icosa I want, right? And then all I would have to do from there is just send Icosa to my next wallet, go over to my second account, right? Connect it to the website, cool. Create the new Icosa stake, however much Icosa I want, and rinse and repeat. So that's basically how you create multiple accounts. You don't need to have 20 different ledgers or 10 different ledgers or cold wallets or private keys. You just need one private key and you can create multiple, multiple Ethereum public keys from that one private key. So the same applies over on the testnet. So right now we're on Ethereum mainnet. If we just go over to the V3 testnet, you'll still see you have your MetaMask account one, your MetaMask account two, and you'll see all of your ledger accounts here. And once testnet V4 is out, you'll see all of your Icosa stakes. And once mainnet's out, then you'll see all of your stuff uh, on those new public keys on the new network, which is Pulse Chain. So yeah, I hope this answers anyone's question on how you create multiple accounts. It's super easy. You just gotta make sure you connect your hardware wallet and don't type your private key in anywhere. Just connect your hardware wallet, import as many accounts as you want, and then just use the MetaMask as a front end. And that's pretty much all you need to do. And if you don't have a ledger, then just create an account in MetaMask as normal but i highly recommend getting a ledger just for the added security it gives you as well as if you found some value with anything i'm saying uh please like and subscribe and comment down below anything you'd like me to talk about uh, i have some new video ideas and some new videos coming up for you guys so thank you guys for watching i'll see